Blah. I just got back from seeing Oppenheimer. Um, very, very riveting movie. I, I mean, everybody should see it. And, you know, listen, make sure you watch it it, like in the middle of the day or after you drink some coffee because that's not a movie that you watch at like 11 o'clock at night or 10 o'clock at night. You know, there's a lot of talking. There's a lot of uh, the, the, the editing and the sound design are impeccable. But man, things move fast and it's hard to follow unless you're putting your full energy and attention, uh, attention into uh, the narrative. Um, so it's a good movie. The structure... The structure is odd because, you know, there's a lot of talking and then we get the, the atomic bomb detonation, obviously, and then there's a lot more talking afterwards. So it's like the movie, instead of doing, you know, your typical three act structure, it's like a, it's like a teepee or like a, like a big top uh, circus roof, you know, it's like a triangle, you know, everything culminates in the middle and then dies, dwindles back down and it's very anticlimactic. And I was just in the, the car with my friend, Nate Dog, who I saw the movie with, and I, I dropped him off and we were talking and I, I thought to myself, I said, you know what would have been a very interesting sort of element that they should have added, that Nolan could have added? And you know, this is like hindsight, 60, 60, 360, whatever, 2020, that's what I mean to say. Hindsight, 2020, yada, yada, yada. Um, but what would have been interesting is, you know, throughout the narrative, um, that you had this other narrative going on happening in like Hiroshima, Japan and nothing to do with the war, just a Japanese family, you know, Japanese civilians, um, just living their lives, you know, with like a traditional Japanese family, uh, who, you know, maybe like the son or the daughter gets married and has just had a child. And, you know, there's the uh, grandpa and grandma that live and there's, you know, they just have their like family drama. And obviously if you're watching a movie called Oppenheimer, you know where this is going. What I think it would have done is it would have added, uh, uh, it would have added an additional human element that I felt was missing towards the stakes of, of, of the, of the movie in the sense that Japan is always just mentioned. It's just the country, Japan. You know, we don't see the human face of actual people, actual lives that were uh, destroyed, destroyed, that were basically added up as numbers on paper uh, by a, a room full of men, including Oppenheimer. And it's like, hmm, okay, well, this number is less than this number and we need to end this war. Because at the end of the day, you know, what's crazy about World War II, it's like such a hard thing to grasp, especially now, especially, you know, everybody who was around during World War II is all just about dead if, you know, or on their way out. You know what I mean? It's like, I think it's hard to grasp the morality in something like World War II. It's too big for morality. There's so much happening. There's so much at stake. You can't even, it's like, you can't look at individual people. It's so fucked up. It's so fucked up. Um, and that's what happened. That's what happened to, to Japan. You know, they're like, well, more people are going to die if we don't drop these bombs. And they made a decision and people died. A lot of people died. And supposedly, you know, on paper, uh, according to projections or according to what they knew, according to intelligence they had, a lot less people died than what would have died. Um, and, you know, that whatever. The point being is that I feel like what would have really elevated Oppenheimer to the next level would have been to have, you know, a portrait of a Japanese family living in Hiroshima or Nagasaki you know, and just sort of seeing, checking in with them every once in a while about trivial stuff. You know what I mean? Like juniors in school and, you know, daughter, you know, has a crush on the boy next door, boy next door. It's like, we just see the, you know, the, the very sort of like average life, even though it's like wartime, it's Japan at wartime. Right. Um, but even like, we just see that these are just people, regular people, just like, you know, like anywhere else in the world. And, and then what happens is it culminates, the arc could have culminated with seeing, 
you know, fat boy or little boy, whichever bomb it was, parachuting down. Now, do you need to see the explosion and the violence and the carnage on Japan? No, I don't think that would have been necessary because, you know, we see the test, we see the Trinity test go off. We know how destructive and how powerful the bomb is. So you literally could cut, because, you know, all they ever say of it is we just hear Truman over the radio, the way millions and millions of Americans heard that the that the bomb was dropped. They heard it from Truman over the radio. And that's what they chose to portray here. And I feel like, again, like I said, I feel like you, you're doing a disservice in a way to the human cost that was sacrificed in the name of, of ending the war. God, it's hot in this car. I got to... Sorry, the sound might, the sound quality might, might get a little worse, but uh, yeah, it's hot in this car. So, um, so I feel like, I feel like if you showed that, it would have just, it would have um, informed Oppenheimer's morality towards the bomb after they completed work on the bomb. You know what I mean? Like, obviously, on paper, common sense, atomic bombs are bad, but like here, you have the U.S. government. Take you know using four thousand four thousand uh, four thousand people uh, two billion dollars over the course of three years to develop these weapons of mass destruction that humanity has never known before in the history of of, of humankind you know uh, for the specific purpose of, of doing this thing and I feel like the way that you I feel like the way that you counterbalance that is you show. You show the Japanese. You show a Japanese family going through life. And then one day, on August 6th, life just, life stops for them. Why? Because they happen to be living in that city. You know? Like, those Japanese citizens were not at war. Their country was at war. And yet, they have to die. And it's just like... I was just thinking, man, what, you know, and I'm sure that that's probably a lot harder to do now in the year 2023, probably not as easy to do that than say maybe like the eighties or the nineties or something, but it just would have added such an element. It would have, it would have just added such an element of humanity that was missing from the destructive cost of these weapons of mass destruction. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you see the parachute go, you see like you know, you see the, the, you see the family, they're holding their brand newborn who, and they're all about to be like incinerated, right? He's holding the newborn, the, the parachute drops and then cut to Oppenheimer and everybody else in uh, San Alamo or wherever they are hearing that, that the bomb has been dropped, nuclear atomic bombs exists and that, you know, the war, the, the war is going to be over. J Japan is going to surrender. Japan has surrendered. And that just would have, that would have just been such a, uh, that would have just taken it over the top for me, personally. It's still a great movie. Everybody should go see it. Performances are excellent. It's, you know, Oscar, Oscar beta, whatever you want to call it. But, um, man, that little element of, 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 that little ingredient would have just, just taken it to the next level. So, I don't know. What do you think? Do you think that, that Oppenheimer needed that, that needed to see the Japanese side of things or like have like a Japanese face to, um, everything that we were saying? Cause you know, pretty much all we get is the American side. Um, and I feel like, I feel like when discussing, you know, uh, atomic weapons, you need to have the face of the people that they are harming, um, uh, represented, you know, um, out of respect, out of respect. So I don't know. What do you think?